Hey guys, it's Brian. I want to thank you for watching another trophy show and you're going to have to forgive me for not being on video because I am suffering from some nasty cold that I've had for about a week now and for some reason I can't shake it. So it's just not a pretty sight, but I'm going to have some gameplay of Dying Light uh, throughout this video so you guys can uh, look at that instead of uh, the train wreck that I am. So anyways, let's go ahead and kick things off by telling me what your most recent trophy accomplishment was. I like to ask this each and every show. And for me, uh, I should have two platinum trophies I would have gotten in the last week. One for Dying Light and one for Apotheon. Now the reason I don't have a uh, platinum trophy to show for those games is because both of those games have glitch trophies. Uh, meaning that they're completely unattainable uh, due to bad coding or whatever it is. And I just kind of want to discuss that for a few minutes here, because if you guys remember 2014, especially the, the second half of the year, was well known for having games that just didn't work. A lot of games needed patches for them to work. So I was pleasantly surprised when Dying Light came out about a week and a half ago that, for the most part, the game was flawless. It worked. There was no patches that were required to get it to work. However there were trophies that were bugged and there's one trophy for completing all side quests in the game that you can't possibly earn and that's kind of a, a unfortunate thing a lot of people have asked me on Twitter they said hey Brian how do I get this trophy for completing all the side quests well the answer is I know how to get it it's just the coding of the uh, trophy prevents you from actually earning it and it, it really pisses me off I'm hoping that we don't see a lot of that now, glitch trophies have been, you know, something that we've had to deal with really since the trophies uh, first came to PS3 many years ago. But I'm really hoping that that this year isn't going to be a big trend of that with a lot of big games with a lot of uh, bad trophies. Now, in the case of Dying Light, uh, there is a quest called Bring Antibiotics that is not in the game that is required for the trophy. Now I'm going to show you the, the coding here for the trophy. And if you look, this is uh, all the requirements to earn the trophy. And it lists all the quests that you need to complete. And again, there's a quest called Bring Antibiotics that is not in the game. So what I suspect happened is they made the game, they put in this trophy, and then somewhere along the lines in the late stages of development, they removed that quest from the game. However, they did not update the code for the trophy, so we're all left scratching our heads wondering why we can't earn a trophy. And it honestly, it's pissed a lot of people off. It's pissed me off. And I know, you know, many people in, in YouTube comments or on Twitter have been asking me, and I know there's a lot of forums where a lot of people are just really angry over not being able to earn a trophy. Now, I know a lot of people out there not you guys, but I know a lot of people out there are going to be like, who cares about trophies or achievements? You know, that's, they're dumb anyways, but, you know, we obviously enjoy them, and it's really upsetting that just we're getting to the point where just more and more games are being released where you can't earn a trophy. Now, Apotheon, the same thing. Uh, you have to get a whole bunch of, you collect all the rare weapons, and if you do that, the trophy's not popping, so... In both cases, for Dying Light, Techland has said that they're going to look into it. There will be a patch. I know the developer for Apotheon has uh, stated the same thing. And so it's good that they're going to patch that to make it work. But it really is frustrating. I know a lot of people have reached out to me and said, hey, how do I do this? And, and it frustrates me when I can't tell them, you know, tell you how to do it just because the game won't allow it. So hopefully uh, that's not going to be a trend this year. God willing. But uh, enough about that. I just kind of wanted to get it off my chest that I, I'm just a little pissed off uh, with a lot of these games and their uh, the broken trophy system. Now I do want to give away a, uh, a copy of Saints Row Reelected. Now I'm going to uh, tweet information about that in a couple days. Uh, I do have, I, I got a copy of that as well as a copy of the Get Out of Hell a code. Unfortunately, I used that code, but I did not use the code for Saints Row Reelected. What Reelected is, is it Saints Row 4 with all download content, uh, minus the Get Out of Hell uh, standalone uh, content that they released. So follow me on Twitter. It's at PS4 underscore trophies. 
and I'll give you guys a heads up on uh, what you need to do to to enter that. I also gave away a copy of Dying Light on Twitter. I never even mentioned it on YouTube. So make sure you guys follow me over there because you want to obviously uh, keep uh, keep abreast of different offerings that I have. I get a lot of codes. Oh, and I almost forgot I also have a code for Grim Fandango, which I will give away on my next Twitch broadcast, whenever that'll be. i got to get healthy enough to do that. I know it's been a while since I've Twitch. You can find me over there. It's just PS4 trophies. So I'm going to get back to that, and the next time I stream, I will give away a Grim Fandango code. So that's it, guys. I'm going to go uh, take some drugs, get some rest, and I hope to see you all soon.